Ferrari. Stop pouring that Hellcat, I floor it. They was hanging on me, hit the dealership and crushed them. Bankroll too big, got me held up. And what is up guys it's upcom sports here with the new look indiana pacers realistic rebuild part two of this series if you guys want to see part one make sure you click the link in the description also if you're new make sure you go down hit the subscribe button with notifications on so you don't miss a video so we're here in year four of this rebuild and i believe we do have a first round pick from the spurs it is in the lottery but it will be at pick number 13. With the 13th pick in the draft, I'm going to select Kai Jones out of Texas, 6'11 center, and he plays a lot like Miles Turner. He's going to rimper that can't really shoot the ball, so very good for a backup or third string center. And I'm going to be trading our other first round pick at 27 because we don't need another rookie on this team, and the Celtics want that pick, so we'll give it to them for a future first and also a second round pick, so that's not too bad for us. And this is going to be the rotation for year four. Old Depot and Brogdon still the star backcourt. And I am going to start Khalil Whitney at the three now because I think he is ready. And he'll give us a little bit more than TJ Warren. But we'll send Kai Jones to the G League. And at the All-Star break, Victor Oladipo is an All-Star again. But no Malcolm Brogdon. He is injured, so that probably had a lot to do with it. And the MVP is going to be Giannis for the Bucks and Patrick Baldwin, Rookie of the Year for the Magic, Jalen the Q, Sixth Man, and Owen Taylor, Coach of the Year for the Nets. All NBA teams looking like this. I don't know if we got anyone. It looks like we did it. Oladipo, though, again, all defensive first team. And we'll see if Miles Turner got on here. It looks like he did not. So he's kind of going a little bit downhill, but we did make the playoffs as the sixth seed. We had a lot of injuries this season, so we could have been higher, but... We are playing the New York Knicks in the first round. We can definitely beat them. They're not that good. Khalil Whitney, though, is a little bit injured. He did lead us in scoring, so definitely produced as the starter. And Oladipo still letting me down with the scoring. I would like him to average like 22 a game, but he's not really doing that. Goga, though, pretty good numbers from him. All-around player. And check out the team stats on offense. We were top 10 on defense. We were pretty good. So here in round one, let's see if we can upset the Knicks here and we win game one. Game two, we'll see if we can win here. And we also win game two, not bad. Game three in Indiana and we win that one. So we can sweep them here in Indiana and we do pick up the sweep against the Knicks. Miles Turner, Ledison scoring with 25, not bad. Khalil Whitney did good, just all around scoring. Probably played a lot of good defense on RJ Barrett as he didn't play too well. And in the second round, we've got the Atlanta Hawks. We don't even have to play the two seeds. So we win game one. Game two, we also win. So not bad against the Atlanta Hawks. Game three, we lose two to one. Okay, but we are up three to one. And three to two, please don't go to seven. And we're going to go to seven, of course. Are we going to blow a three win lead? We actually win in seven. So not bad. Oladipo with 27. Goga with 21. 17 for Brogdon good all-around game and it looks like Trey Young had a pretty good game Shaquille O'Neal on that team and in the Eastern Conference Finals we've got the Brooklyn Nets KD and Kyrie so I don't know if we're gonna win here we are down 2-0 both games in Brooklyn but we do win a game there 2-1 and Brogdon it looks like maybe have gotten injured and we lose here in five games so not a good start here but we did actually get pretty far from being the sixth seed kevin durant was just he went insane over 50 percent from three and it looks like kyrie wasn't even playing in that series khalil whitney with 21. so in the finals the nets are playing the thunder so the thunder are doing better than us right now and the nets actually win it all isaiah mobley finals mvp in the draft lottery, I don't think we have any other picks besides our own, but we'll see what happens here. And it looks like, yeah, we only have our own pick, but we'll see what we can do with that. So with our own pick here, we're going to select another power forward, get some more depth at that position. Seven foot power forward, Abe Cunningham out of Fresno State. So he looks like a really athletic power forward. And here we're going to be trading TJ Warren. I mean, he's been solid for all the time he's been playing off the bench and even starting. But we need some more three-point shooting on this team. Evan Fournier is a better scorer. 
and we have a lot of good defenders on this team we need more scoring on this team TJ Warren a very good scorer just not as effective as Fournier from three point and this is the rotation going into year five and it's the same starting five but the bench is a little bit better I would think and we have a lot of depth so if there is injuries we'll still be good Abe Cunningham will send to the G League and we'll keep the same coach same system at the all-star break Malcolm Brogdon finally makes it again onto the all-star team and Victor Oladipo is actually a starter so the MVP for the season is going to be Giannis and Amoni Bates rookie of the year for the Celtics Ben Simmons, most improved, and Michael Stauffer, coach of the year for the Suns. All NBA teams. I don't think we've had anyone on an all NBA team yet, but all defensive first team yet again, Oladipo. He's a stud. But checking out the standings, we did make the playoffs as the sixth seed again. So, I mean, we're kind of stuck in that range. We can't really get up to the top three. We'll try to do that in the next couple seasons, but we're playing the Heat in the first round. There are the stats, and we did pretty good. Fournier was actually really good off the bench, but we were the fourth best offense in a solid, no, not that good defense. In round one, we got the Heat, so let's see if we can take them down. And we are down in this series 2-0, but now in Indiana, and we actually lose that game, so it might be over here. And we actually get swept in round one after sweeping the Knicks. And Khalil Whitney with 21, Brogdon only 14, and Oladipo only had 6 points. He played horrible in this series, as you guys can see. Only averaged 11 points per game. RJ Hampton, Lonnie Walker. And the finals is going to be the Sixers and the Lakers. So we'll see if LeBron is still on the team. And the Sixers actually win it all. Ben Simmons finals MVP. So in the draft lottery here, we actually have the Celtics pick at 14 and we will keep it so not too bad we have two first round picks again and with our first round picks i don't know what we're gonna do but we're gonna make a trade here for auto porter as i don't know we just we need to find something to spark this team auto porter 85 overall and he's offered up so we're gonna take him add to our wing depth a little bit more at pick number 14 we're gonna stay put here and select the best available player and that is a power forward out of yukon sean harrington and he looks like just a really energetic guy very athletic as well so another small trade here for just some more depth because we weren't able to sign many guys in free agency because of our cap space situation so we get a first round pick out of this and demetrius jackson just a veteran third string point guard and another pretty small trade here the rookie that we just drafted, we're going to trade him and also a first round pick, the one that we got in that other trade for Tim Evans, who will be a third string center. Not too bad, seven foot one. Will this finally be the year that we break through into the top three of the seeding and maybe get to the finals? Because that is the goal to get to the finals, not just the conference finals. I don't know. Our depth is definitely a lot better. We're super deep. We'll, let's see if we can do it. Yet again, we have Brogdon and Oladipo as an all-star backcourt, but I mean, doesn't mean anything if we don't win in the playoffs. So the MVP is going to be Giannis for the 15th time this video, and the awards we don't really care about at this point, but all NBA teams, we still don't have an all-NBA player on our team. Oladipo, we saw there on all-defensive team but we actually missed the playoffs we had a lot of injuries small injuries but we were the 10th seed so we're gonna give this one more season and see if we can do anything if not then this is pretty much over so the finals is gonna be the spurs who we actually traded sabonis to so they're doing a lot better than us and they actually win the title dejounte murray finals mvp so here in the draft lottery i mean it doesn't really matter at this point we're not even gonna draft uh, whoever we get so there you guys see the draft lottery and here is the rotation same exact team i just brought everyone back and at this point we're literally at the brim of our cap we are way into the hard cap so this is the last season we did fire the coach for not making the playoffs 
So again, Victor Oladipo is going to make the all-star team. At this point, it doesn't really matter. Who really cares if we don't do anything but? The MVP is... You, you already know who it is, but... Uh, we don't know the rookies by now. Jalen Suggs, most improved. And Carmelo Anthony, coach of the year on the Spurs. What? And we finally get an all-NBA guard, Malcolm Brogdon. Putting up crazy numbers, nine assists a game. Oladipo again, all defensive first team. So we finally have an all NBA player on our team. Is it time? Number two seed in the East. So finally, top three. This has got to be the year. And we actually play the Bucks in the first round. So Giannis could definitely take us down, but I think we're a lot deeper than that team. Oladipo finally putting up some good numbers. Khalil Whitney is really, really solid. I really like that pickup of him. Otto Porter was solid as well. And we're just super deep at this point. And we were the sixth best offense number. So we're in round one. Let's see if we can take down Giannis here. And we win game one in Indiana. Game two, we lose in Milwaukee. Actually, no, in Indiana. Game three, we win in Milwaukee. And it's tied up 2-2. Two -two. Okay, this is a big game. And we win it 3-2. to two. And we win in six. So no game seven. Giannis, 30 points. But he's, yeah, he's literally carrying that team. Victor Oladipo with a nice series. And in round two, we have to play the Brooklyn Nets with Kyrie Irving back. And we lose game one. And, of course, Khalil Whitney goes down. Uh, so he's going to be out for the season. I mean, that is why we picked up Otto Porter, though. He's definitely going to be a great replacement there. So we won't lose a step with Otto Porter there. Great 3 and D guy. In game two, we also lose at home. Game three, <laughs> we are down 3-0. And we're about to get swept. This team's just too good. This team is just too good. But it looks like we are at least going to win a game here against the Nets. And we might lose in five in Indiana, though. So we can maybe force another game. And no, it looks like we are going to lose here, but it was a very good effort. This team is super stacked with KD and Kyrie. So, I mean, we gave it our best effort. Got to the conference finals once. Did want to get to the finals, but we weren't able to do that. Kyrie Irving was back. Kevin Durant, insane. And in the finals, it is going to be the Suns and the Nets. So we'll see who wins this. And it looks like the Suns might win it, and they do. So that is going to do it. Make sure you drop a like, leave a comment. Who should I do next on the road to 500 subscribers?